Hey guys, Yami here. Welcome to the very first episode of The Road to Glory. I hope everyone's just doing well today. So in today's episode, we're going to start our new account. Brand new, fresh as it comes, no pre-order packs. So let's see how we can get on um, until the end of the year. I want to get all the team of the years, icons, whatever, by the end of the year. But obviously I'm starting this um, a month late, but I did try to, I did think about starting it um, after Christmas just because everyone that started out Christmas they might think oh well I'm a bit behind I'm not going to get the best team but I will prove you wrong you believe me us um, if you like the video guys make sure you subscribe leave a like comment in the comments section below on how well you're doing on FIFA at the moment without further ado let's get into the video what's going on guys welcome back to the video like I said in the intro, this account is practically is literally the newest it can get. I've just um, made this account today, um, so there'll be no pre-order packs. Um, it's just the standard edition, it's not the ultimate edition that you get packs from. Um, I was thinking about making this after Christmas, um, just because at the moment with my workplace uh, it's a bit hectic at the moment. But I will try to do a daily upload on this um, series for you, so you can just follow along, see what I've done, what trade I do, or how the coin I lost. Like I, I, on my main account, I've lost a lot of money um, trading or just buying silly things or doing um, squad building challenges. But um, in this series, I want to show that um, you don't have to spend any money in this game, well, apart from buying the game. But you don't have to spend it on fever point or buying coins or whatever you do money wise with this game you don't need to do it um you can just play along and um, they reward you by playing the game so like well it's not the best reward but they still do reward you and um, you can get great amount of profit from drafts and um, squad building challenges you know playing foot champs it can be very stressful but playing foot champs and um, division rivals um and so on in this game there's a massive 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 way uh, well not massive there's loads of way to make coins in this game you don't need to spend it on fever point the only people spending fever point are like youtube um creators like uh, fifa creators like uh, nepenthes you know bits and people like that that they spend money just obviously to make content um, but you don't need it like that. I think they do Road to Glory themselves. Like I've subscribed to them because I do enjoy watching their videos. I like learning from them. Um, so hopefully like you guys can learn from me because obviously some things that they do might confuse you. Um, obviously I'm not the best at this game. I'm not like claiming to be the best FIFA player ever. I am an average player. Um, to more understanding to you guys that you can't leave you won't be able to learn as quick of the game because i haven't learned quick of the game i still don't do skill moves like the effective one um or anything oh by the way if you're wondering why i went to squad battles um and play on beginner I, you can probably see i won i think 45 to zero it's just because the um objective um the milestones like if you score 100 and um, finesse shots you get um a rare players pack so obviously i just went into it just try to play score as many goals i can just get that pack for you for the next episode that will upload so yeah anyways with the making money side of it obviously you can just grind the game out and playing division rivals um foot champs um stuff like that but like sometimes foot champs it's not really worth it like i I, the highest I've been in is gold one and I was really stressed for it and I still played play games when I got work the next day like it's just it's not good so um but we will show you like what's the effective way or the most um the most effective I would say like effective way to get the foot champs and get like a good division rivals reward because if you don't know um, you only get 30 games in division rivals but they count as well when you're playing foot champs, so you don't get as many games. So we will go through where to finish and stuff like that. Like, I like um, I'm in Division One on my main account, so I try to get rank one, Division One, um, every week. But obviously, I don't. I'm not the best FIFA player, so I do slip into rank two. 
and um, I just normally stop at um, gold 3 because I don't think it's personally it's worth it going above gold 3 just because of the, the rewards from top 100 could literally be the same as gold 3 like the player picks apart from the team of the weeks and um, extra player picks like it's it's just not worth the stress I have tried um, to get to the higher um, ranks but obviously like I said I'm not the best I've my highest finish is the gold one but I find that it's quite good but um, obviously I've tried to learn from the game um, try to make myself better at the game um, my team on my other account is not you know it's not full of icons um, I haven't spent any money on that account either and I have um, built myself a very good squad for um, competitive play like foot champs but um, like I said I want that's for me I know how to do that type of stuff so I want to show you guys that you don't need to spend 100 hours playing this game in a row you don't need to spend money in this game you just casually playing it and they will reward you at some point when you um, pack the players you can just sell them on personally I always pick untradeables because uh, I love opening packs but I might have to change it for this series maybe at the start we will do untradeables but <coughs> sorry but um towards the end we probably will start doing tradables just because we will have a mass amount of players in to the club so we do not need the untradeables anymore but yeah, um, like I said, in, in the background, guys, I just going through all the foundations, um, objective, getting a couple of plaques. Um, just I have, I think I just played one games um, with this record. Uh, I haven't played much. I was thinking about going to another game just to finish um, some more objective off. You know, try to build up or try to get um, f far ahead as I can for this season. Just so I'm catching up with everyone else that already had the game for a month already. <coughs> but it, honestly, making coin this game is so easy. Um, I think if you go to the Pentest channel, you would say that if you don't do any um, squad building challenges, just hold your coin, sell every player when they become um, relevant. Just do it. You will probably have you know Neymar, Mbappe, Ronaldo within the next month or even sooner but obviously with content wise I'm not just gonna you know not do any squad building challenges I will do some to you know a certain extent like if you've seen the play of the month Bamba I think it's about 300k he is not worth it whatsoever yeah another you know what is it another 600k Oh, well on Xbox anyway, another 600k you can probably afford Neymar and you get that 600k within two weeks of playing the games and trading. Like uh, I can make you know 1,000, um, 1,000, uh, 1,000, not 1,000 coin, 10k an hour, just mindlessly training between games and playing the games. Obviously, I love playing this game, but Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for me is have become so dry because there is no content on the game i can't play any more division rivals i can't grind the, the game anymore but um hopefully with this theory there is a lot more to do a lot more to grind for um this year actually ea have done a very good job with the friendly um section of it and um, you can grind the game get the players so i will be doing I'm trying to do every single one of them depending on the time I can get them for but I will 100% do all of the objective player um, I think there's the MLS and the EFL um, player foundation or player milestone at the moment so I will 100% be doing them so just add the players, play, more fun player to the, um, to the club but yeah anyway guys um, hope you're um, liking the video at the moment just leave a like subscribe to the video uh, not to the video leave a like subscribe to the channel if you think this will be helpful to you or in any way um, I will try to do a daily upload and um, just to just for you guys to see that I'm not cheating in any way spending fever point or do anything else I'm literally just here just to help you guys just follow me through and you will get to 
you will better yourself in FIFA. You'll be able to buy like better players and you know stuff like that. Having fun with the game. That's the whole point of this game. It's just to have fun. Um, but anyway, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you think this is a good video, leave a like, comment, um, and subscribe to the channel. Oh, leave a comment as well. Um, I want to see um, how you guys are doing on FIFA at the moment if you guys already got the game. If not, just wait out for, a couple, um, for another month and then you'll be able to come, come back to this video and then comment and see how far you get on. I really do hope that I am um, helping you guys to build um, your club up and hopefully in the next um, next year if you even come round it will all start again. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you later.